kids love something that they can grab a hold of and time cells gives them that that anchor that children need from just random floating facts and it gives them an anchor through our stories Times Tales got started as a grassroots movement about 20 years ago. And it started with me teaching my children how to quickly memorize their times tables like in just a day. We were doing flashcards and then they would know them one day and then they would completely forget the next day. So I told my kids that I know a little trick I had learned in college how to memorize using a thing called mnemonics. And so I said, hey, let's do this and we're gonna get these kicked out. And they did and that's how Times Tells came about. A lot of people don't understand Times Tells. It's really un unconventional, it's out of the box, it's a different way of learning than how the parents learn their times tables, but it works. It's fun, it's fast, it's effective, and you have your students get in there, learn their times tables, and then move on to more other important things. We had no idea that in the last 20 years that this would grow to what it is. It's really kind of revolutionizing the way that kids learn their times tables. And it's really rewarding to know that we've given kids a tool that they can use for not only learning their times tables, but they also can apply this memory trick that they learn to all facets of learning. I really just spent a lot of time just like thinking like, how did they do that? But it's really worth the investment and not a lot of effort on the child's part. And then because once you learn the stories, they start connecting the multiplication families with them and then they automatically start to recall the multiplication facts. A bunch of parents were like, times tales works. And I was like, okay, I'll try whatever it is, I'll do it. If there's something and it works, we'll do it. So I, I got it and she was upset. She's like, I don't want any more math. It's more math. I said, no, it's gonna be, it's, it's a video. And she, she got it and she remembers the stories. The, so the four stands for the chair, uh -huh. and the nine stands for the tree house. Uh -huh. and, and I'll tell the story. Mm -hmm. We were really struggling with learning our multiplication facts, but um, we came across Times Tales, and after only watching this video one time, she was able to make a 100 on her multiplication test. You can use a story without even telling someone why they're learning the story, and then. Um, and then show them that they just learned multiplication. And as that's a former, kinda... well, she says, a former school teacher and a current author, I would definitely recommend Times Tales um, for anybody that has a kid that is struggling with trying to put together the challenge of, of multiplication tables. Um, it personalizes the multiplication tables and it makes it fun. Times Tales is the best. Did it make it easier for you? Yes. Right. Would you recommend it to any of your other friends? Yes. Okay. What's seven times three? Twenty-one. What's nine times four? Thirty-six. Three times nine? Twenty-seven. Eight times four? Thirty-two. Primarily high school age students, and I would hear, you know, if they don't know their multiplication facts by now, hand them a calculator. And then when I started using times tales, that's that's never a go-to for us. That now we start we start there. For, for the kids who are really struggling and, and especially like really bright kids who, you know, have learning disabilities that make it so much harder for them and their frustration just gets to be so high with why they can't just get something quickly. Um, it was like a miracle for her.